Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to track changes in Excel. Now track changes option can be useful when you have a file and you're sending that file to someone else to review it and the person would make changes to it and send it back to you. So you can enable track changes and all the changes would be listed at one place or it will be highlighted in the cells where the changes are being done or if you have a file that is shared in a network drive then many people can access that file make changes to it then you can enable track changes so that all the changes are recorded and you can go back and see what the change was done and who made it so in case of Excel if you want to enable track changes you go to the review tab and here within the changes group you have track changes option when I click on it it gives me this option highlight changes and when I click on highlight changes it opens this dialog box of highlight changes and here I need to check this box which says track changes while editing and when I check this I have these options available the first option is when so when is it that I want these changes to be tracked I need all the changes to be tracked I want these changes to be tracked since I last saved this file changes that have not have been reviewed and you can also specify a date you can also specify whose changes you want to track so for example if there is a specific person who would access this file and you want only his changes to be tracked then you use this as of now it only has everyone and everyone but me because I am the only one making changes in this and then you can also specify the range so in where you can select this and you can select the range of cells in which you want to track changes and then you have this option enabled when I click on OK it will show me this option which is this action will now save the workbook do you want to continue so you would have to click on OK it will save the workbook and you can see now it says shared and now whenever I do any change in this worksheet whenever I change any cell it will be tracked and it will be highlighted so for example in this case let's say I send it to my manager and he thinks initial secondary research would take six days instead of four and he makes this as six you can see what happens I have this blue triangle on the top left part of the cell and when I hover my mouse over this cell I have these things listed here which says Sumit Bansal which is my name I made the change the date and time in which I made the change and what the change is so it says change cell B3 from 4 to 6 similarly if I let's say if I come here and I say I need to add the word the here pre preparing the first draft then it will be tracked similarly if let me add a couple of things here so I would say request feedback and in days I would make it as one so now there are four cells that I've changed and you can see that all these cells have been marked uh, it gets highlighted in a blue border in this case I've already have the gray border but you can see there is a blue border in the cells that have been changed and there is a blue triangle in the top left part of the cell so now all these have been listed these changes have been tracked but what if there are many changes and you want to list all the changes at one place if you want to do that what you can do is go to track changes go to highlight changes and here click on this option list changes on a new sheet and this option becomes available when there are some changes if there are no changes this will not be available and now when I click OK it again tells me only changes which have been saved can be listed on the history sheet so what I need to do is I need to save this workbook and when I've saved it I go back again here I click this click OK and now it will insert a new worksheet with the name history and I have all these changes listed here so you can see there are five changes that I made and it will list all those changes so I change it from six to four I changed this word I think I by mistake changed something here then I added this word and I added this number so it is giving me all these changes these are listed at one single place so you can go through these now you can also accept or reject these changes so for example you have sent this document to a colleague or, or uh, your manager and they send back their feedback their review then you can accept or reject the change so to do that again go to track changes and go to accept reject changes and when I click on it it opens this 
this dialog box and it says when which means that you want these changes and but when uh, were these changes made you can select it so for example I can select not yet reviewed or I can specify a date so all the changes made after this date should be reviewed so I can specify a date here then there is who again who made the changes and where you can select a range of cells and now when I click OK you can see it shows me this accept or reject changes dialog box where it will list all these changes one by one now I can accept this change I can reject this change or I can accept all or reject all so in this case let's say I I click on accept all then all these changes have been accepted now whenever I will make any change going forward if I add anything it will still be recorded because the track changes functionality is enabled so I need to disable this functionality and to do that I will go to track changes click on highlight changes here and then uncheck this option and when I uncheck this option and click OK I will see this prompt which simply uh, tells me that your workbook, workbook will not be shared and all the changes would be lost it will not be recording the changes anymore so I can click on yes and when I do that this functionality is disabled if I come here and I change something else it will not be recorded so this is how you can use track changes in Excel that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day